All right, everyone. So uh, good morning and uh, welcome to this week's edition of Boundaries Webinar Wednesdays. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started now. Um, my name is Ashay Shambore, and I'll be taking you through this uh, webinar today on uh, MathCAD worksheet libraries. And now, this is going to be one of our, I guess you'll say, more informational webinars. This may not, you know, take you know a whole lot of time, but we'll definitely go ahead and uh, and cover what the content is about. Um, and so first off, we'll, we'll go ahead and do some quick introductions, um, and then we'll go into some basically before and after scenarios, you know, with or without the MathCAD worksheet libraries, um, and then we'll view some sample worksheets. Um, and then finally get into some questions and answers. Uh, and so these are not going to be, you know, viewing the full, you know, worksheet set. Uh, we're just going to view some sample, uh, you know, worksheets from, from within the entire libraries. All right, so a quick introduction about Boundary Systems. Um, we are a uh, product development and consulting company uh, based out of Cleveland, Ohio, uh, but um, we have a, a reach that extends way beyond Cleveland, and uh, we have customers, um, that, that extend way beyond Cleveland and and they trust us for anything from you know product lifecycle or data management to uh, CAD design and consulting you know computer simulation um, really anywhere in the product development you know life cycle um, uh, we are we have the tools necessary to help them along the way and uh, just a little bit about myself um, I guess you, you could almost summarize the first three bullets to say uh, I basically spent um, six years attending four different colleges and getting three college degrees. Um, and then after that, I got tired of being in college, and so I started working. Um, and uh, and right now, I primarily handle you know CAE analysis and simulation here at Boundary Systems, um, and I, I absolutely love it. Um, you know the the thrill of getting to predict or, or get some insight into the performance of a particular design, you know, long before it's ever created physically, just by manipulating it in a computer, um, it's one of those things that that just you know gets me excited. And so um, I, I really love it. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get started into the content here uh, now. A lot of us are familiar with MathCAD. Uh, this isn't going to you know. Be, be a webinar on a deeper dive into MathCAD. Um, a lot of us are familiar with, you know, the ease of use when it comes to, you know, um, word processing and, you know, creating spreadsheets and, uh, sorry, creating um, um, graphs and, you know, uh, formulas and content. Um, a lot of us are familiar with the very powerful math engine behind MathCAD. Um, but in a lot of cases, whenever you open up MathCAD, even though you have it, once you open it up, uh, what you have is a blank page staring at you saying, fill me with information, right? Now, sometimes the information you put in there may be unique to a particular design or project, but other times it may be information that you could reuse. You know, if, if, if I'm trying to design, you know, a particular device and I want to see if, it, if it's going to buckle or not, um, Yes, the projects may be different, but the same buckling equations, you know, uh, will still hold, right? Um, and in a case like that, you know, say for example, it's a year and a half or two years between projects, you know, I then have to spend some time, you know, searching Google to find, hey, what's that buckling formula again, you know, and then figure out how to format it into into uh, MathCAD before I then continue going. Um, and so, really, you have a scenario where you're, cal you're creating all your engineering calculations from scratch, um, which then means that uh, your calculations lack standardization across multiple engineers and across multiple projects. Um, and so, there's very limited, you know, uh, um, MathCAD template reuse and repurposing. Um, you know, when I create the spreadsheet now, you know, my thought is, oh, I'm creating that buckling spreadsheet for my project right now. Um, and then two years from now, when I'm doing another design where buckling is involved, I really wish I created the first one as a as a uh, template so I could reuse the information. But who knows? I have nowhere to find that that spreadsheet now, and so I have to recreate something else from scratch again. Um, and so that basically then means that you know you have lost engineering productivity. Um, you know. Um, 
some of your projects will end up you know getting delayed or being over budget because you know you're spending time looking for information instead of just manipulating the information and using it to create more innovation um, and so really that just leads to you know uh, more engineering time spent on worksheet creation and validation uh, and so the flip side of that uh, is uh, the MathCAD worksheet libraries um, and so and the libraries uh, are, are basically sold by PTC, and uh, and they contain you know tons and tons of uh, worksheets. I think the full library itself um, contains over a thousand different worksheets um, on many different disciplines, uh, from uh, you know algebra and geometry to calculus, and data analysis. It contains some on you know chemical engineering, civil engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. Um, you know a ton of different information and so with that library it allows your users to analyze document and share your calculations on anything from you know building structural design to building thermal analysis to electrical power systems engineering to programming to you know select topics in electrical or chemical engineering um, many many different items are, are you know all within that uh, that umbrella um, now the libraries are you know broadly divided into a couple different sections first you have you know the generic you know volume one and volume two libraries um, which is basically what I just described um, but then you also have you know specific um, subject subject specific libraries that uh, contain more information as well so for example you have the worksheet libraries uh, that are subject specific for applied math and that contains you know, over 400 worksheets that address, you know, differential equations, statistics, you know, solving, optimization, data analysis, and, 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 and a lot more. Um, you also have a worksheet library, you know, specific for civil and structural engineering, um, and that contains over 250 worksheets on, you know, building thermal analysis, building structural design, and a whole lot more. Um, you also have similar worksheet libraries on, you know, um, electrical uh, um, engineering and design and that contains you know 462 worksheets um, and also on mechanical engineering which contains you know over 350 worksheets on you know a ton of different engineering topics in the mechanical engineering discipline um, and so all of this means that uh, instead of recreating you know information from scratch or looking for information in Google uh, you're basically searching an index or a searchable database of MathCAD worksheet for knowledge that already exists and you're either reusing the same worksheet as a template or you're just copying and pasting or dragging and dropping the information into your existing worksheet so you're dramatically reducing the time that you spend looking for information and you're using that time to create new knowledge or information or to innovate on that uh, on that information and so part of the benefit then for you is that um, you're, you know, you're reducing your time and effort in preparing your engineering calculations, um, and also then um, that enables rapid design verification and validation. Now, not only do you have that, um, but you can. These worksheets also enable you to help learn MathCAD best practices because these worksheets are formatted in such a way where. Um, you know, it basically is formatted in a typical best practice sort of way where you have, you know, descriptions or for, you know, what the math sections will be about and, you know, explanations as you walk through the specific calculations. Um, in some cases, some of those worksheets, you know, walk you through how to do specific things in, in MathCAD. So, for example, some of those will walk through, you know, how to uh, do curve fitting in MathCAD. Um, and so again, that walks you through the best practice scenario on, you know, doing curve fitting in MathCAD. Um, and so really, that means again that you're able to increase your engineering productivity and precision. All right. So we'll we'll take it a, a, another step further and look at another um, set of uh, worksheets that is available in the in the libraries. And uh, again, this is the uh, Rourke's formulas, um, you know, sixth edition. Uh, and now it says MathCAD 15 over there, but again, there's a MathCAD 15 to prime converter that can very easily convert those worksheets from, you know, MathCAD, you know, 15 to, you know, prime three or 3.1, depending on which one you're on. 
but again, the the scenario is almost you know the same as well. Is you know before this having this you know um, worksheet library, you have to you know create all your engineering calculations from scratch, um, and there's a lack of you know um, a standardization across you know your different engineers and the different worksheets they create over time. Um, and there's a very limited MathCAD template reuse in that case um, because, you know, no one has the foresight, you know, right now to to predict if what you're creating is going to be used as a template in the future or you can just create it as a worksheet, right? Um, and so that then basically leads to, you know, lost engineering productivity um, and, uh, and you're spending less time innovating and more time looking for information um, and, and creating that worksheet and then validating that worksheet. And so again, the uh, the after scenario comes in, and this is where you have access to the uh, MathCAD 15 Rourke's formulas. Um, now, this contains a ton of different information. You know, over four, 1,400 worksheets with you know standard formulas for you know stress and strain, um, you know column buckling or elastic stability, uh, stress and force deflection calculations for beams, you know moments of inertia, torsional loading, um, beam analysis for varying section. Uh, natural frequencies of plates, you know, a ton of different information that, you know, are commonly used in the engineering realm. Um, and no one has all these, you know, contents memorized. You know, you only go look for it when you realize you need to use it, and then you go search Google, right? Well, why not search the MathCAD worksheet libraries to find that same calculation information and just copy and paste it into your existing MathCAD worksheet? Um, and so the benefit for that then means that uh, you'll have, um, um, you know, reduced time and effort preparing engineering calculations, um, and also then you're going to increase your uh, uh, MathCAD template reuse and repurposing. And so you're basically spending more time creating new knowledge or innovating and less time looking for the information and typing it into the worksheet. Okay, so at this time we'll pause for a second and take a look at some uh, sample worksheets here. And so this isn't going to be, you know, the full library that we'll show. This is just going to be a sampling of some worksheets that are in the library and some of the content that they have. All right, so um, we'll go ahead and uh, okay, and continue on with this. Um, so this here says, uh, so this just contains a sampling of some of the different topics and, and some of the different worksheets that are available. Um, you have everything from, uh, you know, nonlinear pendulum dynamics, you know, to um, you know, another worksheet here that talks about, for example, um, you know, machine design. So basically, machine design and looking for static failure. Um, and so you have a case where you can now, you know, specify the geometry, you know, define the parameters, um, and then, uh, you know, put in all your different, you know, uh, um, constants or variables, and then, you know, calculate if the machine, you know, design is going to fail based on, you know, static failure or not, right? But again, this is information that, um, if I did not have this worksheet, if I did not have this, I would have to go and start creating and formatting all of this from scratch again. I would have to go find my formulas again and type them in and then make sure that they're, they're correct um, in my calculations um, just for the particular design, right? Um, the other benefit to this now is, um, you know, if I have someone that is, you know, young and getting up to speed on, on uh, machine design, um, this has, you know, content or areas where it describes what's going on. So it's not just all calculations. And so it has descriptions. And so you can basically read this, and it reads like a textbook where you can start to follow the knowledge or follow the thought and, uh, and understand, you know, what's being done in the, in the spreadsheet or, or in the worksheet. Another 
um, example here would be you know calibrating a thermocouple um, where this you know talks about um, you know calibration using standard reference tables published by uh, by NIST uh, and then if you continue down along this here you basically have you know the different you know uh, data points created um, and then next thing you know it pops into um, you know using a rational fit to fit that data and get a good curve fit you know uh, in order to fit the the, couple, the data you've got from the thermocouple reading to the temperature um, uh, at the time. And once you then fit that data, you can then you know, get your residual and figure out how good of a fit that, uh, that curve is for your data. You can get the equation for that curve. And now you have an equation that you know, best calibrates your, your thermocouple. Right? Um, if you're not into you know, calibrating thermocouples, um, you have, you know, an electrical engineering kind of discipline where you're, you know, analyzing uh, resistor, inductor, uh, capacitor circuits, and uh, in this case, you know, it has all the different descriptions you, that you need, and then also the, you know, calculations to analyze and calculate, you know, RLC circuits, right? Um, we'll skip from that and. Uh, and get into this here and, and again this you know is one of those again best practice uh, worksheets that talks about you know polynomial regression and so um, you know doing regression he talks about you know some of the different MathCAD functions you can use to do that and then has a lot of different text explaining you know how you would go about doing that um, and also illustrative examples, for example. So in this particular case, you have you know the graph where it shows you a P3 polynomial and how it fits the data versus you know um, a P5 polynomial and how it fits the data better, but you still have areas where you know there's less of a fit and a P10 polynomial that fits it almost perfectly, right? Um, if you're into the you know uh, chemical engineering side of things, uh, you know this contains information for, for example, uh, um, liquid vapor um, equilibrium of a particular mixture. In this case, uh, acetonitrile and nitrobenzene mixture. Um, but again, you can take that information and generalize it to you know other kinds of mixtures that you have as well. Um, you know, if you're into the, you know, mechanical engineering side of things, you know, or even the civil, this, you know, contains, you know, information on, you know, um, boiler and piping system and, and pump, basically hydronic system sizing, you know, figuring out, you know, you have your hydronic system, what's the most effective, you know, sizing for for the particular capacitor you're trying to design for. Um, yeah, you have other spreadsheets, you know, for civils that talk about, you know, reinforced concrete beams, you know, size selection. Um, you know, this here talks about, um, you know, data analysis, and this again gives a tutorial on, on, you know, how you'd go about, you know, your, on, on that data analysis. And so, you can go ahead and read through and and figure out, you know, um, in formatting MathCAD and. Uh, and uh, what's it called? Let's see here. Oh, oh yeah, like you know, calculating the mean or you know um, standard deviation and things like that. So basically, measures of central, you know, uh, tendency um, and others that you can use to then analyze that data. This is a very simple tutorial spreadsheet that walks you through all of that information. Um, and then the last two I'll highlight here are you know. Um, more on the electrical side of things, I believe it's one. This one here is a you know propagation delay um, of a signal along a copper trace, um, and then you know in this case a DC motor protection, um, and it has again text that explains what the worksheet's about, and then you know um, the calculations and also illustrations you know uh, following. So it's a ton of a ton of uh, um, uh, content that that's available to you, and you can use, um, you know, to help make sure that you're spending less time looking for information and more time actually, you know, using that information to innovate and create new knowledge and new products. All right, so I'll uh, flip back to the PowerPoint here, and. Um, at this point, we'll start looking at questions. Now, 
if you've if you've been on webinars with us before, you, you're you're familiar to the drill. If not, um, on the right hand side of your go to uh, of your of your window or of your computer, there should be a small gray strip. Um, now you may have to click on a red arrow to expand it or decrease it in. Um, but within that gray strip, one of those entries here will say questions. And so if you have questions, you can type those into that questions box. Uh, so that way it pops out here and I can see them and uh, we can either answer those questions, you know, online if we have the time to, or if not, uh, we can, you know, uh, reach back to you directly offline to, uh, to answer those questions directly as well. And so um, if you have any questions, you know, please type them into the questions pane of your GoToWebinar control panel, and uh, I will uh, take a look at those and respond to them. Okay. Um, okay, so good question. So... One of the questions um, <coughs> here talks of asks, um, where is this library and is it available for MathCAD 15? Um, so let me switch back to my to my other screen here, and I'll show you where the library is at. Okay. We'll switch back here. So first off, I'll answer the second part of that <coughs> of that question. So is it available for MathCAD 15? Um, some of it, yes. Uh, the other, I would have to check to confirm. Um, so if I let's see here, take a look at this. Yeah. So the the library, the the worksheet libraries are over here. Um, so, for example, if I take a look at this particular tab, all primarily these libraries are available for purchase. Um, and so you have, you know, the, for example, Worksheet Library Volume 1, um, and, and that's how much the cost is. And, um, and it tells you in here, you know, what is contained in those library documents. Um, and I believe these are created from MathCAD Prime 3.0. Um, yeah, so... No, no, these these libraries require MathCAD Prime 3 or later. Um, but in this case, you know, you can pick on your worksheet collections and it shows you, you know, all the different items that are, you know, included in that particular library sample. Um, and under related products, it then takes you to all the other, you know, uh, MathCAD worksheet libraries that are available. So here's a volume two. And here are the other ones, you know, on applied math or civil, structural, you know, electrical or mechanical engineering. Um, again, all of this information you can send us, you know, if you, if you are, sorry, we can send you if you're interested, you know, you can just shoot us an email and um, we can, uh, yeah, we can get with you to, you know, to see how you can get access to one of these. Um, but again, this is where you would find uh, the worksheets and, you um, the majority of them are available only on uh, on MathCAD Prime 3.0 or later. Um, next over here is uh, the uh, Rourke's formulas, um, and uh, this here I believe is available for MathCAD 15 and above. Uh, and so for the Rourke's, Rourke's wor worksheet library, uh, you should be able to you know get this on MathCAD 15. And not only that, if you're if you're on you know Prime. Uh, Prime comes with its own converter that you can use to convert from MathCAD 15 to Prime 3 or 3.1. <clears throat> All right, so um, another, another uh, piece of content I'll also interject into this here is um, a lot of what I've talked about so far in the libraries I've shown are paid content. Um, but if you also are looking to, you know, get some free content as well, um, there's a um, P, the PTC has its, you know, uh, has some free free library content uh, available, you know, on the PTC communities page. Um, and so, I think if you just Google PTC community, you know, MathCAD all worksheets or something, you you should get, you know, get to this link, or you can send us an email and we'll send this link to you. Um, but again, it has information for you to, um, you know, get a free copy of MathCAD if you don't have it. Uh, and then, 
um, you know, if you're new to MathCAD, it has, you know, worksheets on, you know, getting started, you know, or it has worksheet categories so you can explore on different, you know, disciplines or topics. Um, some of them, you know, are given free. Others, you know, um, require basis. Others are basically included in those worksheet libraries, and so those will require some sort of payment before you have access to them. Um, but again, this has all of that information here, uh, free plus, you know, paid worksheets uh, in here. So I believe, for example, if I scroll down here, um, yeah, if I was going to use this particular worksheet, for example, applying the momentum equation to determine water depth between bridge piers, um, this would be a free one to, that I could use. Um, the ones marked with a plus, you know, um, uh, what's it called, have premium features. Um, and any ones that are marked with with, an a, with a red asterisk, you know, are available for purchase, you know, uh, and are not not free. Um, and so again, this contain this link, this page will also contain, you know, many different MathCAD worksheets that you can use as well. Let's see, any other questions or comments? All right, so it looks like we're um, running out of questions here. Uh, and so we'll, we'll go ahead and advance here and say um, this is um, our contact information. Um, Now, actually, before I show the contact information, I just I, I think um, when I was showing you what I was talking about with the uh, web store, it, it probably didn't show because it was on a different uh, different screen. So I apologize for that. Let me uh, let me switch screens here. Let's do that. Okay, um, so yeah, if it wasn't, I'm not sure if it was on a different screen at the time. If it was, I'll just show it again. Uh, this page on the PTC Communities page uh, uh, walks you through or has information on all the free worksheets that you that you can get in MathCAD. Um, some of these are paid worksheets, uh, but others you can get for free as well. Um, and if you're looking for the paid library of worksheets, um, these other links here, you know, this contains everything from Works Worksheet Library, um, and this is available for MathCAD 15, um, and you can purchase that on the PTC Web Store, or you can contact us. And then finally, um, there's the uh, MathCAD Worksheet Library Volume 1 and, and others. Um, so this here contains a Volume 1, and uh, you can look at the worksheet collections to see, you know, what content is contained within those. Um, and then not only that, you can also, under related products, look at the additional worksheet collections for Volume 2, Applied Math, Civil and Structural, Electrical, and other disciplines as well. All right, so now I'll uh, do it the proper way and switch screens back. So... Uh, Cool. Um, so if you have any, you know, questions or comments, um, uh, technical questions regarding MathCAD specifically, uh, you can email me right there. My, uh, my information is right there um, and my phone number as well if you want to reach, reach out to me directly. Uh, if you have any sales questions, you know, how do you get access to that library um, or even get that link, uh, you can email either myself or Steve Seymour down below. Um, and we'll be more than happy to, to um, get with you and, uh, and, and help you out with that. With that being said, uh, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you being here. Um, and, uh, yep, yeah, that's, that's the end of, this, of today's webinar. Uh, come join us next week when we talk about uh, using uh, uh, Creo Simulate for uh, um, static stress and the thermal analyses as well. 
Thank you so much. Goodbye.